Howdy, what's up? Guys, today I'm going to uh, show you the best of the two worlds, jQuery and jQuery UI. So this is very simple to create a picture slider, slideshow, has combined uh, the effects of jQuery and jQuery UI. That's very simple to create, let me tell you that. Okay, I'll be using CodePen. I've used CodePen.io, it's an online editor that allows you to uh, code out using HTML, CSS and JS. I've used a little bit of uh, all three and as I said I've used some functionality of the jQuery UI. It's a library built on top of jQuery itself. And jQuery is a library that uh, uses uh, JavaScript as its uh, foundation or as its base. Okay, now have a look at the uh, the browser preview. This is the actual browser preview this window is actually a little crunched okay so you see that uh, you know one by one there are three images that actually slide in from the left there's a fade in as well if you notice very carefully there's a fade in they slide in from the left and notice that the titles or the captions the image captions also change with a subtle bounce there's a you see there's a bounce out here notice the bounce with the different captions Okay, so the a course in Flash with me will cost you this much, and with in, in jQuery will cost you this much. Okay, so um, let me show you the uh, HTML to start off with, which I'm not gonna uh, do all over again because it is self-explanatory. So all you have is a div with a class of fade in that uh, surrounds three images. So as always, the images have the SRC pointing to some URL which brings up the pictures of uh, Dreamweaver, Flash and jQuery. Okay, all these three pictures are 256 uh, by 256 pixels uh, in width and height, that's a perfect square. Okay, the alternate um, text which gets uh, picked up as the image caption and we'll see how that happens uh, displays a message and obviously the alternate text never displays itself in the browser. Uh, window. So course in Dreamweaver, whatever, cost and course in Flash costing 200 USD, course in uh, jQuery, USD 150 or whatever, right? And up front, uh, in the opening closing, H2 tags, which has an ID of course, we're going to use that ID to point to this H2 element, says that the, the, the course fee in Dreamweaver is USD 150, okay? So the result is actually uh, this, but uh, you know, we also have the JS combined. So, so let's uh, next let's show you the CSS. I'm not going to touch the CSS and the HTML at all because this is so very minimal. I'm going to touch the. Uh, I'm surely going to touch the uh, <coughs> the uh, JS file. Okay. Now fade in, if you remember, is the outer division which carries the three pictures. I've set the position two are relative, a width of 256, a height of 256, basically matching the width and height of the three images, okay? And the images contained within the class fade in, I've set the position absolute. Now what this, ha what this does is, this is very simple. When you have children elements which are absolute contained in a parent which is actually relative, they actually tuck themselves uh, under each other. So basically it becomes a pile, it's a stack. Okay, so that is how uh, you know things get affected. Mm, let me bring up the JS. Okay, now that's the very minimal JS uh, which actually uses, as I said, jQuery and jQuery UI. Okay, I'm gonna kind of destroy and uh, kind of recreate for you. When I say kind of, you'll soon see what I mean when I actually say kind of. Okay, now <coughs> I'm using the slide effect in UI, jQuery UI that is. I'm using the uh, bounce effect in jQuery UI. Fade in, fade out over 600 uh, milliseconds. These are, um, you know, fade in out here. Let me just change this to a 600 as well. That's the time duration. Let's save it. Okay, so, so fade in, fade out are standard with, uh, with jQuery. But I've also used the bounce effect and I've used, used the slide effect and that's adding that little bit of uh, 
fun, you know, making it a little more dramatic. You see the title out here, jumping, jumping around. So, uh, as I said, I'll not be disturbing the HTML and the CSS because they, you know, CSS was just two lines, and the HTML wasn't uh, more than a handful of lines. So let's see, uh, let's recreate the JS and let's see how this was actually done. Okay, guys. Uh, notice what I've done. I've actually emptied completely the JS panel, and the result is that the images have stopped moving. Uh, the title has stopped jumping around or bouncing around. Okay, expectedly. So, uh, right. The HTML, which is this. Let me uh, show that to you once again. Refresh your memory is a div with a class of fade in, three images inside which have some alternate text which are gonna act as image captions and uh, one opening closing h2 tag with an id of course okay and let me show you the css as well so if i close the html uh, see all uh, that the css actually says is the class fade in that was the class attached to the division has a position of relative width and height matching the width and height of the the pictures used out here 256 each and the images inside have been set to uh, absolute and the result is once you actually do that see once you actually do that uh, the images tuck themselves under each other they all position themselves uh, left zero top zero that is the default behavior okay so let's get back let's close this up too and let's tackle the JS as I said I've emptied everything uh, and I, I said I'll kind of destroy and kind of recreate so let's see what that kind of actually means out here <coughs> let's bring in the first line of code now uh, guys in code pen you don't need to write the document ready routine it's actually inbuilt pre-built inside uh, this uh, online code editor but otherwise if you're uh, using any other editor like Dreamweaver or Sublime Text 3 etc you'll need to write the document ready routine surely okay also notice that I've actually included the latest jQuery and jQuery UI library with base theme so uh, you'll need to include the jQuery library in the jQuery UI library manually either using a CDN or a physical file but with the code pen uh, online editor I don't need to do that and if you need to preview whatever I've just made all you all need to do is you just need to you see this is the highlighted part if you can just type this out and um, you know you'll be able to see the preview of what we're gonna create very soon okay so let's bring in the first line of code after we have included the jQuery and jQuery UI libraries here goes okay here I'm saying that in the fade in division we have three images okay images which have an index of greater than zero only the first uh, picture the picture at the top which is dream beaver uh, has an index of uh, zero whereas two have an index of one and two so gt0 means greater than zero so images uh, that have <coughs> excuse me uh, an index of greater than zero please hide them using the hide method that's hide uh, that hides all the uh, other two pictures instantly instantly leaving the top picture uh, you know the first picture uh, which is dream beaver uh, shown right let's uh, bring in the next line of code okay I'll be using the set interval uh, function now the set interval function allows you to execute some code inside repeatedly let's see how okay so this is the uh, the function envelope or the function you know this is how you actually create a function so the function keyword round round curly curly brackets okay and set interval also requires from you to actually give you the time interval in which it should be run so I'm saying 3000 so the uh, slideshow should run in 3000 uh, milliseconds or 3 seconds right let's uh, now push the code inside set interval now this is a big long variable uh, the variable name by itself is short which is image caption but uh, the selector is pretty long so I'm saying the image is inside the division fade in you know uh, dot fade in is the class of the division the images inside we have three images I'm I need the first image 
but then I need the next image and then I need the atra alternate atra so basically um, see Cos in Dreamweaver USD 150 is actually already shown with the Dreamweaver image the next image is gonna be flash okay I need to change the Cos in Dreamweaver USD 150 to uh, Cos in flash USD uh, 200 okay to do that I will skip the first but tackle the next and pick up the atra with the atra um, uh, method okay and pick up which atra the alternate atra can I show you the HTML again okay notice that every image has a alternate text and this is the the you know what's uh, the text that's actually written inside goes in give me a sec <coughs> course in flash course in jQuery uh, course in reviewer etc etc okay right so out here I'm saying I need the atra alt from the next of the first images so skip the first image go to the next image which is the second image pick up the atra alt of the image inside the fade in divisions and save it inside image caption so basically uh, in simple lucid terms I need to save the attribute ALT of the second image the next to the first the second image flash because I want to change course in Dreamweaver to course in flash USD 150 very soon okay so let's bring in the next code now here I'm actually saying uh, the images inside the fade in, fade in is the uh, the class for the division. I need to use the first image, which is actually Dreamweaver, and do what? Let's see. And fade it out over 600 uh, milliseconds. You see, just fade it in, you know. And then what? And then you know this is chaining. Then pick up the next image. Next image is actually flash. Okay. And do what with that? And uh, apply an effect called slide just you see see it just slid in did you see that it's sliding in again and again over 300 uh, milliseconds slide it in and fade it in as well so the slide and the fade are happening simultaneously so you see uh, as Dreamweaver as is actually fading out the uh, flash is actually fading in the first image is Dreamweaver the next image is actually flash okay slide is another UI effect and bounce is the other one okay so use the slide jQuery UI effect and this is the syntax guys dot effect slide okay let's bring in some more code now I'm using the end method now what this actually does the moment you say end it will end tackling the next it'll go back to the first it will end tackling the next it will target the first image so it goes one step back and then starts to apply uh, whichever method you want to apply so append to fade in now this is <coughs> slightly tricky what I'm saying is the moment you say end it goes one step back and picks up the first image it does not use the uh, it you know ignores the next that is what end does the last uh, traversing filtering or modification action that you take it actually destroys that ignores that and goes back to the first selector which is the first image and then it cuts the first image append to basically is gonna cut the first image and place it at the tail remove the head place it at the tail so that's a cut paste so that's a cut paste happening removing the first image and placing it back uh, you know uh, head remove the head chop the head off and place it at the feet the foot or the toe that's you know that's gonna help you cycle through the uh, image gallery so cutting the head placing at the feet right and that's that's once the the first image fades out and the uh, second fades in now once that cut and paste actually happens uh, the first second third have actually changed now the first image is actually the flash image right let's bring in some more code now <coughs> since I've actually uh, you know I've, I've helped the images actually changed um, and cycle through through line number 11 this is cycling through right 
Uh, I'm saying ID course. Now the ID course was attached to the H1. H1 actually carries course in Dreamweaver, Flash, jQuery, whatever. Right? Can I show you the HTML once again? See? ID course. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. So I need the ID course and through the HTML method. HTML method replaces the text guys. It does not append, it does not prepend, it does not add before or after. It actually replaces the text inside. With what? With image caption. The image caption was captured here. You know, for, for the image that was coming in. The image that was fading in. The second image, the flash image. In the first cycle. So, um, push the image caption and replace the original uh, text which was course in uh, Dreamweaver gets replaced by course in uh, Flash rather uh, yeah course in uh, Dreamweaver gets replaced with course in Flash and the fee also changes that's image caption for you this big long selector with you know many traversing methods applied the add draw method applied as well first traversing method, next traversing method, atra captures the ALT attribute. Right. <coughs> so uh, that's how the uh, the image captions actually change. And through chaining, now I'm again targeting course. This is the chaining method. You don't need to write, write ID course again and again. I want the the you know the image caption to bounce the default is actually 20. I, I just wanted to bounce very subtle in a very subtle manner, not too dramatic three times. And I can actually skip the slow. I don't need to add slow or fast or uh, normal. I can leave it as it is, but then it'll be uh, too fast. I would want to, it to be slow and subtle so you can easily see it. Okay, and uh, we have already discussed this is the time in which the set interval repetitive function phi is 3000. You can actually want to make it a little slower, make this value a little higher. Okay, and this is where the cut paste happens. First image is removed from the head and add it to the toe. Let's comment that as well. <coughs> right. -o. So guys, uh, just combining the best of uh, jQuery and jQuery UI effects and this is the subtle result and it's not at all too difficult to create, is it guys? Okay, and uh, Guys, if you don't want to include include jQuery UI, you can do away with the slide effect out here, and uh, yeah, and you can if you don't want an image caption, you can completely do away with these two lines. With plain jQuery, also it'll work just fine. You can just remove the slide effect from here. Effect, uh, where's the slide effect? Yeah, you can just remove the slide effect from here. You can just keep the fade in. That'll uh, that's good enough for pure uh, jQuery usage. If you just want to make it simple, and if you want, if you want to see the code, if you want to, uh, you know, use the code, all you need to do is just copy this bit, okay, and paste it in the browser, like so. <coughs> uh, okay, I forgot the letter Y. I just, you know, while cutting, I didn't cut it properly. Now this should this should be fine, okay. Yep, yep. So you see all the HTML, CSS, and uh, the JavaScript will be at your disposal to uh, use, right? So guys, I hope you found this information useful. Please sub, please uh, share the video. Uh, Please sum the video up and I'll see you soon. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.